My name is Marina Vance. I'm an assistant professor of mechanical and environmental engineering at the University of Colorado Boulder, and I'm one of the principal investigators of Home Chem. Testing, testing, hello, is this better? So I was born in an island in southern Brazil, it's called Florianópolis, and when I went to college I really wanted to do something that would have a positive impact in the world, but I was also very curious, I liked tinkering, I liked puzzles and solving problems, so I knew it had to be engineering, so I chose to be an environmental engineer. Then I came to the United States for a PhD because I got really interested in air quality. You know, you control really well what you eat and what you drink, and you control really well what you touch. You have a choice, but you don't, you don't really have a choice about what you breathe, you know? You, you go out into the world and you don't really know what's out there in terms of the air you're breathing. Technology has a good side, but it also has a dark side. I hate being that person. <laughs> that is always bringing out the bad side of science and technology because I am an engineer. I love technology, I think it's really useful. But if you think of things like uh, laser printers or now 3D printers that are getting very, very popular, um, they're very useful to have. I think every home in the future will have a 3D printer. But one thing that consumers might not realize is that they emit a lot of particles. A lot of PM or aerosols are emitted from these printers when they're in use inside our homes. And it's very, very important to understand what the potential health effects of those are. Because think about it, if you put a printer like this in an office environment or in an industrial environment, those are regulated by policy and people are told you have to wear a mask or you have to put it in a separate room with a different ventilation system. But then if you start thinking about consumer products, these are going to be used inside your house where your children might be around or elderly people might be around who are more susceptible to health effects from air pollution and these environments are not regulated. So the policy makers cannot come and say, here, you shouldn't be doing this inside your home, right? Some people smoke inside their homes. We can't tell them not to. Um, so it's a very interesting field of research to try to understand these consumer products so that we can inform the industry to tell them to make them safer by design. What if you make your 3D printer enclosed so that people are not exposed to the particles when they're using them? We also realized maybe about 10, 20 years ago that there's a number of consumer products coming out in the market using nanotechnology to enhance them, to make them better, to make uh, things stronger, to make things antimicrobial, and then you add nanoparticles to confer those properties, which is really good. But there weren't many people looking into the potential bad side of using nanotechnology into all those consumer products, and we realized back during my PhD at Virginia Tech that there is a potential for nanoparticles to end up in the air from the use of these nano-enabled consumer products. So in science, we are all skeptics. We are also all tool makers, we're all mechanics, we're all travelers, we travel a lot, and we're all frontiersmen. I mean, we try to be frontiersmen. That's what science is about. It's about understanding things, building and growing from it. And that's what really Home Chem is about. What we hope is that the general public will realize maybe that's what we should all be doing in our regular lives as well.